Hi, welcome back to my new hobbies. It might be helpful. Sorry about the finger. Well, we did a dry pour slab a couple weeks ago, and it didn't turn out too bad. Like, uh, oh, props to Cajun Living, I think it is. Uh, good instructions. I want to try and duplicate it. But like the other guy who did it, I got over anxious and I pulled the forms too soon and uh, did a little cracking on the back edge and the one corner. But overall, it seemed to work quite well. So I'm going to show you how we do it if you haven't seen their video. But go see their video as well because they're going to be more in depth. Oh, like I said, no editing, so you get what you get. First, I like to get the vehicle as close to where I'm going to work. So I don't have to carry the bags. Well, that doesn't seem to be the best angle. That's a little better. All right. So I put the tailgate right at the edge. Mm. I like to have rubber boots on doing this and uh, uh, I don't actually wearing way too good of a shoe to be doing this but I don't want to do it barefoot uh, could have spotted myself a little better on the back of the truck Ooh, smoky, very smoky, dusty, really, not smoke. I don't know how many bags that was already. I got 10 to start. I got two, four, five, six. So that's six down, four down, I should say. Ooh. I got a little extra oh, so I can be messy. Mm. Mm. I know it's going to take almost all of them. So, in the hole they go. Ugh. Do this early in the morning. Don't wait till it's hot. Actually, I like to be done with this part of it before 11 o'clock. That is a big bunch of, in the middle there, isn't it? We'll take care of that. Yep. 
Yep. I don't mind getting a little outside the foreign board. I'm wasteful. I know it. I'm hoping I got enough. I should. Should have one bag too many. Now you could go really old school, get you a hoe, wet this and mix it right in the form. But uh, I like their method. Let's get that last bag in there. Ah. Mm. Ah. All right, I want to fill in all the low spots before I even start screeching. Let's uh, dust the camera off. I'm sure it's pretty dusty by now. All right, I'm gonna have to link those together. But uh, what I'm gonna do now is, ooh, got one stick too high up. Yeah, I'm going to pull the truck forward, get it out the way. Oh, that was not smooth at all. Uh. All right, I got the truck quite far away now, so I hope I don't got to use that last 80 pound bag. I like to get, like I said, uh, this is only the second time I've done this, but uh, have worked with other concrete off and on here and there. No expert. But I want to get these corners close. I don't want to have a real hard time screeding this. What's nice about this being dry 
We got time. All right, I hope you guys know how to discreet because I don't want to be on camera. So uh, the screening part, you have to, all you do is take a board, you lay it across it, and you jiggle it back and forth to get it level. But like I said, I want to get all these holes filled in before I start screening. Somebody shooting behind me. I like to screep from the high side to the low side. That is pretty much it. For right now all right so uh like i said i don't want to be seen screeding because i don't want my face on tv you guys don't need to see how ugly i am all right so far that's about it for a dry slab uh me and the wife will screech this off and as you just take a board you lay it across and you just wiggle it down, make everything flat and even. Let me see if I can find myself a board. And uh, we'll be back in a little bit after we screed it off. We'll screed it off and... Uh, got an edge trial. I'm going to do the edge a little better. But the important part, don't rush those form boards off let it sit two three days they'll come off i'm missing a board all right thanks for tuning in to my new hobbies that might be helpful i gotta find my other board